we're doing our monthly hoof trimming today. Had about 15 cows to sort out and he's working at trimming them now. Currently our robotic feed pusher's down again. We've been using the skid steer to push the feed up the last couple days. Just one of those things, once one thing goes wrong, it can kind of mess stuff up for a while. The cows had knocked the lid off a couple months ago and since then we've had a couple different issues. I think right now our collision sensor is acting up. It's just causing it to stop sometimes and back up weird and stuff. We got some parts we want to change on it to try. Get you these little springs right here that hold the lid onto the metal frame. Yeah, we wanted to try that to see if that straightens things out. If these are a little bit out of place, it could cause it to act weird with the sensor. So that's a pretty simple thing we can try. These robots are sometimes a pain, but I think it's been good for me just because it's kind of good to understand how these machines work and it'll be a lot easier to transition to something more complex in the future if we decide to go that route. We see the advantages of them when they're working and then when they're not working, the frustrations. Both the floor scrapers are working really well right now. I love seeing those clean floors like that. I drove the thing over the charger, set it to go now. We'll see if it takes off and works. It's working like it should right now. The whole idea with the feed pusher is it's running through every hour, keeping the feed up fresh for the cows. And we don't have a trough here because every morning we go through the skid steer, clean up any extra feed. Also working the headlocks off the front so you don't really want a curb to have to step over for that. We got a bunch of heifers to move around today. Wanna to move some young calves into this barn. We gotta send some big ones to the other farm now. We'll close this up so they don't run out into the pasture right now. This is our breeding age pen here. Once we get them pregnant, we can move them out. And right now there's a lot of pregnant heifers in here, so it was easy to find a group to take to the other farm. 35's along the left side. keep all these from running out in the pasture. We want to sort some of these out and bring them home. So now we're sorting out some of the oldest ones to take home. Not you, we just brought you down here. This one's starting to bag up already. She's gonna be having a calf pretty soon. Starting to come into milk a little bit. These are all due by July. We'll be chasing them up to the pre-fresh pen when they're getting closer to calving. Just hang out here with the dry cows, can run out to pasture. We're ready to go down through the heifer barn and move all the calves up through. So we got space in the youngest pen for young ones. Let's go girls, let's go. We got everybody moved down through these pens. So we're gonna bring nine out then from the calf barn. Scraped out our cattle trailer. We like to clean it up before we move young calves. Now we gotta learn to step over the curb. It can be terrifying. Come on, girls. Go ahead. Go ahead. There we go. All 
our De Laval cow brush wasn't working lately in the freestyle barn. We realized the wire had gone bad, so my dad just went and picked up a new wire for it. We just gotta put this back together. Within 15 seconds of us getting it fixed, they're already using it. Just a wire that goes from the motor up to the power up there. There's a little bit of damage on it. Got that replaced, that fixed it. I'm here at our pre-fresh pen. I got these cows tied in the headlocks. I have a job I need to do with these. This spring, we decided to invest in a health monitoring system for our whole herd. So there's some different companies that make products like ear tags, neck collars, but this company is unique because it's actually a bolus that you give the cow and it lays inside of her stomach. This is the brand right here, Smax Tech. We put these in 60 cows earlier in the winter. We were trying it out and we were really happy with all of the data that it gives us. So the reason we went with Smax Tech versus any other company is because with these pills being inside the cow, it's actually reading body temperature constantly. So it tracks activity like any other tag, and it also does rumination from inside the stomach, which is basically how much the cow's chewing her cud. If she's not eating, her rumination is gonna drop, so that can tell us if she's not feeling well. But then the big advantage with these is the body temperature monitoring. So it's giving us a constant reading of the cow's body temperature. If she's dealing with any type of infection, we're gonna see that spike in temperature, and I'll get an alert on my phone that we're dealing with a problem with that cow. We already have boluses in all of our milking herd, there's just a few that are coming in now to calve that were in the dry cow barn that we weren't able to get pills into. We're kind of learning how to use the system. I want to talk about it more in the future as I get to know it more, but we're excited about it. So this is the main page on the app. And here I'm able to see the alerts that we're getting, get health alerts. And I'll just give you an idea what the graphs look like a little bit. So this cow here was just in heat the other day. Uh, the green is rumination and the blue is body temperature there. Uh, red at the bottom would be activity then. So this cow's got a little bit of something going on. She had a fever spike. So here we have some cows in heat. Bred a couple of these today. You know, all the cows are on a list here. I can search any cow and just get information on her. There's a website too that you get on, on a computer. You get a little bit more information, but the app is really handy. So to activate a bolus, they got this little magnet thing here. You gotta touch against it. And it lights up. Take my phone and scan that QR code there. And then I just search the animal that I want. Save animal. And so now this bolus is gonna be reading for that cow. Some cows fight it more than others, but it's not too bad. So that'll lay down in her stomach in the one part where it doesn't pass through her body. It just lays in there out of the way. It's able to read body temperature. I got a bolus into all of these cows. It's gonna take a few days until we're getting reliable data from them. They're all due to calve in the next few weeks, so it'll be working by the time most of them calve. Another thing these pills do is they give you calving alerts. Something with the body temperature, they're able to predict when they're gonna calve about 12 to 24 hours before. I think it's a little different for every farm, so we're still learning that. But it is nice to get that little warning before one's gonna calve. And we found if they throw a calving alert and then they don't calve in that time, there's something wrong, they're dealing with some sort of issue, so that's usually when they need help. So the biggest advantage we've seen up front here is the fresh cows, being able to monitor them. I love after a cow's or calf that I can just check my phone and see how her temperature is, see if she's eating. Cow health is a big priority for us on our farm, and we feel like this system kind of raises the ceiling for us as far as how well we're able to keep after the cows. Just being able to monitor health so much closer like this, it's gonna take a little while to learn and, and really get the value we can out of it, but I'm excited about the opportunity it's given us. We found it really nice just being able to watch the body temperature of the cows. If it's dropping right after calving, you can see milk fever starting before she's a down cow. If she needs a bottle of calcium, you're able to give that sooner, get them back to normal, and uh, you can just kind of closely monitor them. We're currently feeding our pre-fresh cows what they call a DCAD diet. So it's a certain type of mineral, anionic salts, uh, designed to help. They're able to pull calcium from their bones that way. 
and we want to try actually a different type of mineral here in the near future. I'm excited with the pills. We'll be able to watch the rumination with the cows after calving to see if they eat better, kind of how that transition goes. Eventually, I want to be able to get a handle on mastitis cases before we catch them in the parlor and be able to come up with some sort of protocol to hopefully reduce antibiotic use. So yeah, I'll be talking to you guys more about Smex Tech in the future probably. Kind of see how it's going as we learn more about it. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. I really appreciate everyone who watches and uh, watches to the end like this. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.